welcome back to the Sindora channel. I am Travis. Welcome back to Flycorp. I did a one-off episode of this, and then I had so much fun that I bought it. And now I've been playing, and I've got 2%, and I didn't want to go any farther because I wanted to be able to do it on the show. Scenarios. Scenario mode offers lots of interesting scenarios, each with unique situations and wind conditions. Let's do that one. A hurricane is approaching the USA. Keep in mind that flights to some cities will be canceled. I also saw there were quick tutorial or quick scenarios. Ah! 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 We have 30 minutes! Okay, Washington DC, good. Connect that one. I don't even know. Money to earn. 9,000. Is that like overall or half in our bank account? Let's see. Money to earn. So you don't have to connect them right away. They don't get really, really upset until uh, you connect them and then you're not picking them up. So we can let them go red and it won't hurt us. But when we do connect a flight to it, uh, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy, busy airport. Upgrade New York, upgrade Pittsburgh, and Washington DC. Because it has a circle around it, that's the capital. It'll be like that in every country. That that's gonna get a little bit more traffic. Go ahead and connect Pittsburgh to Detroit, actually. And if we're doing Detroit, ooh, that's a long ways. Dashboard. So right when we opened Detroit, that yellow plane came over here, and that's just because there's lots of people waiting to go. Cleveland. Oh, New York, you're getting big. Breaking news, Chicago's almost full. That's okay. Oh, nope, it's a wind condition. Okay, that sucks. The Chicago airport is full. Keep an eye on the numbers of passengers in each city. Open new routes by opening... Okay. I kind of like it when you don't have to worry about that. Because there's a quick scenarios, extreme scenarios. That's if you get really good at this game. I'm obviously not your choice. It's up to you to decide which countries to unlock. Your goal is to earn a specific amount of money as fast as possible. That just sounds stressful, guys. Let's let's do free play, right? Fuck the campaign. We're not a real gamer. Where do we wanna where do we wanna start? We could start in Russia and be absolutely fucked. Because <laughs> they'll give us an airport here and then all the way over here. Wherever the cities are there. And we will start in Cuba. And we can get our shit together in Cuba before we move out. They're all open! A new airport has been opened in Havana. That's the capital. That's an expensive flight. Connect all these routes together. And on this mode, if if this one, if uh, Santiago goes red, we don't get any fines and we don't lose the game. Now everyone is connected to everyone. Everyone can go anywhere. Ah! It's recommended to cancel all the flights to Las Tunas due to bad weather. There will be no passengers for a week. I'm gonna try hard just to just pronounce the word. Don't worry about whether it's right or wrong, just muck my way through it. Connect this to Havana. Uh, it's so expensive to do these things. And then we could connect up to the Bahamas. I think the Bahamas only has one airport, even though they have these three islands. Welcome to the party. I wish I had more, more money to give you more flight paths. So even the planes are upgradable. So it's a it's a level one plane right now. I think the max is level seven, maybe level five, something like that. And then they become a really, really good looking jet. Seems to always be yellow, so we'll buy a new plane for that route. To thank us for connecting Santiago to Cuba to our transport network, Cuba gave us 209. Fuck yeah. Sometimes they're tricky to click on. Could get the right angle. Oh, there's another yellow one. Oh, this one's orange now. Get me in there. There we go. To Havana. We'll buy a new plane. Hopefully that'll take some of the load off, huh? Connect them all up, please. We got money to spend. Let's uh, spend it. We can buy a new plane or we can just upgrade that plane. Buy a new one. So we don't have any new airports coming up. I think this is stabled out where Cuba has all the, all the airports unlocked. Upgrade it as we go. And once it stays a stable green, we will move on to... Maybe Jamaica, or Haiti, or the Dominican Republic, or the Puerto Rico, or any of the other surrounding areas in this giant world. A cool thing about this though, you can't go west to get over to Australia, right? So you, if you were in Hawaii and you wanted to go to New Zealand, you'd have to fly all the way over here. The globe is spinning the other way, so the planes would be ridiculous to go that opposite way. Clicky clicky, upgrade upgradey, Havana, how you doing? Oh. Our PR department is advising us to launch a massive ad campaign that costs $209. According to their forecast, we would increase the ticket price by two times per week without losing demand. Should we do it? Yeah! I've got $200 to spend on, on advertisements to 
make us better? Ooh, unfortunately our charity campaign didn't get us more passengers, but there is some good news. One billionaire bought a lifetime ticket. So he bought a really expensive ticket that now I have to carry his ass? Forever? That's fine. Upgrade that plane. Upgrade that plane. Upgrade that plane. Green is good. Yellow is worrisome. Red is bad. Finish up these roots. Anything that's not connected to each other should be connected, especially in a in a small area like this. That way no one has any anything to complain about. Now I'm not an expert, obviously. So so if you start your your own airline, don't don't just take my advice. Sometimes it's tricky to see if it's actually connected or not. Okay, should we buy Jamaica? 800. That's pricey. All the places start at a number. So 800, Mexico's 800, United States is 800. And then it slowly goes up the more and more territories you buy. So you want to buy a place that's big enough that gives you enough airports to make a lot more money, but not too big that it'll be overwhelming, and not too small that it only has one airport. So I think Jamaica has like three? Two? Yes, yes. The gardening festival is being held in Santiago de Cuba. The number of passengers looking to visit the city is increased by two for a week. What? Well, we should upgrade that airport then, yeah? So yeah, just two airports in Jamaica. They start to turn yellow, uh, the airports, when it gets like this far on the line. So it always seems kind of scary, but going from here to the rest of the 500 or whatever is for that airport, Seems to go really, really fast, so it's nice, but still learning. And this is as fast as it goes. All right, we're in speed mode. Yep, this is as fast as it goes. So sometimes you just gotta make money and wait for a pop up that'll freeze your game, or like pause it for a second, you know, so you can't just walk away once it's all green and stable and come back to fifty million dollars. Uh, it's recommended to cancel all flights to San Diego, uh, Diego del, Diego del Vela. <laughs> due to bad weather. There will be no passengers for a week. Desote. We'll figure it out now, won't we? Puerto Rico time? Get a nice long flight? $839. This, that's the price we we almost paid. Okay, so that's the... Kingston's the capital, so we're gonna want to upgrade that at least twice. This little yellow plane just... dying. Okay, Puerto Rico. We'll take you now. Go ahead and... Well, we'll, we'll see how it does. We'll see how, how popular San Juan is. How expensive is Havana to, ooh, 572? It might be a good thing though. So then a bunch of people would go to Havana and then come over instead of flying to Santiago, uh, Santiago to Cuba and then going to San Juan. Yeah, lots of money, we'll do it. No one said we were good at business. Hey, a popular urban blogger posted a video review about the Kingston Airport. He really liked its architecture. Now people are coming here to see the airport in person. The number of passengers in Kingston increased by 50%. Who needs commentary when you've got this? <laughs> the last time I was playing this game, I bought the Bahamas and it only has that one airport, like I said. When I connected it to Havana, they gave me like two maxed out jets. The people of this place are so glad that you connected. Here's the most expensive plane. Also, here's another one. So we're gonna do that. 881 instead of 800 now. Or whatever this one was, because this is our third country. <laughs> A new airport's been opened. Fuck yeah, it has. Whoa, that's really expensive. Probably not the best. Okay, <laughs> we'll spend like all of our money when we have a crisis on our hands. <laughs> if we don't cut our prices, the number of passengers will decrease by three times for a week. Do you want to reduce the tickets prices by two for a week now? Yeah. Was I in the middle of saying something? I can't remember if I started a sentence or not. Let's hit save, right? So I'm gonna save this into the first slot because that's the one that I'm gonna use to do my recordings. And then hit load. So we're just gonna leave this one for a little bit. <laughs> you can see my American one uh, in the United States that that you wanna see lots of green, remember? That's a lot of red and yellow. And same in this one. I've really messed this one up before I logged out last night. But I'm 4% way through the whole world. Let's check that out. So, same thing, I started here, right? <laughs> so it's as if we just bought all these. And then I also expanded over here, then expanded there, and then this one, Trinidad and Tobago. That was a mistake. That, something about that airport just, it wasn't too trafficy, but they just had constant issues. And then we made it over to New Zealand, 
right? And I connected all these together to try to make it money before I connected it intercontinentally. I lost all my money like real fast and everything went to shit and so I just closed all my airports and so now each one of these airports has like 300 people in it. This one has almost 500 people in it. So it's 300 people in it. So if I connected routes here, they would the planes would be immediately full. It's just a just a place to leave. The employees of the aircraft manufacturers went on strike. Yeah. So when you start getting problems, the problems just keep snowballing up. Anyway, this is the United States. It's also a total shit show. Just because the flights are so far away and they keep giving you more airports and you can't slow down how fast the airports come out. I don't care. Unlock all countries. What's that one? In this mode, you need to unlock a new country every six minutes. Oh, we tried this one after our, uh, when I still had the demo version. That's so tricky. Let's do it. Uh, what time? Oh my god, this episode's over. <laughs> it should be, it should be over. We'll, we'll do this real quick. <laughs> Cause it's, a uh, it's only a six minute thing. So it wants us to get Poland. That's that big fucker. Oh man. All right. Make somebody. How much is it? It's 300. I need 156 for this one. Or 90. I don't know how this mode is even possible. This is some tricky shit. Music's still jamming though. Love to upgrade this airport. Or this airport. Upgrade that one. It's obviously going to be a problem. Uh, an international nature preservation organizer will compensate you $209. All flights to Berlin have been cancelled. That's good. That's what you want to hear. Still need to make more money, so... And then get 300 bucks so we can go to Poland. Hamburg, are you good? <laughs> oh no, you're not good. Okay, that's upgraded. I have less than a minute! <laughs> that's, a, that's what I said. <laughs> Shit's nuts, dude. They're not gonna make it. They shut down Berlin. I'm, I'm, I'm fucked. And then it pauses, or it like makes it go to real time to get the boop and the boop and the boop. <sighs> There's a whole world to get in six minutes. <laughs> you didn't unlock the next country in time. Keep an eye on your warnings. Do it again. But we're out of time. Can we just leave Stuttgart out of it? No, they, they hate that, right? That'll that'll ruin everything. Connected, now I just need $300 to get this. <laughs> Come on! No, we're not donating money to charity right now. <laughs> oh, you money-inch. I can't do anything about it. Okay, now I can when I have 60 bucks. Come on, come on, come on, yeah! Hey, oh, oh, right, in six minutes you have to unlock the whole world, so it's not, it's, I mean, not the whole world, they just want to see how well you can do. But I'm doing poorly, <laughs> so <laughs> six minutes is just enough to piss the people off. Not, not me, these people. There you go. We did it. <laughs> it's too tricky. <laughs> Don't even want to see my score. 3% though. Okay. We'll leave it there then. Uh, I could continue playing a long game where I try to unlock the world, and that would that'd be fine. I just wish the like the the regular the game parts like scenarios and stuff were had a little slider of difficulty because I always move it to baby mode. Games are meant to be played and have fun. I'm not here for the challenge. I'm just here to see flashy lights and click it and go ooh ah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I super appreciate it. We'll see you on the next episode. See ya. I know you guys didn't notice that I was gone, but I haven't recorded in two months, so it feels really good to be back playing video games on the weekend.